What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Drop a like down below, comment anything in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Welcome back for another High Five video, ladies and gentlemen. I am here to first start off with the prize pick of the day. Prize pick of the day today, by the way, if you make your first deposit over on prize picks using code green light, it'll give you a 100% match up to $100. All right? So green light on prize picks will give you a match up to $100. So $300 on your boy, pretty much. All right. <clears throat> so first and foremost, my prize pick of the day as of right now, obviously, you know, I, I'll spend a little more time and look at it throughout the day. But as of right now, Robert Williams exceeding 9.5 rebounds against Miami. All right. I've got Robert Williams getting over 9.5 rebounds. He has done this in six of his last seven games. He's averaging almost 13 rebounds a game in his last seven games. All right, in those six of his last seven, he has been averaging 13 rebounds a game almost, 12.6 to be exact. All right, Vegas also sees him getting the over on the 9.5, so I really love Robert Williams over 9.5 here in this one. A lot of people might shy away from this prop because it's against Miami, but Robert Williams, one of the better rebounders in the entire league. Dude is ferocious on the boards, so I love Robert Williams over 9.5. All right, so also I'm doing something new as well, so make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. I'm going to start doing some little fun prop stuff with you guys. I have some first bas first baskets been popping lately in the industry right now because somebody bet like what ten dollars and won a hundred thousand dollars on first basket prop bets. So I'm gonna start doing that as well just for fun every night. It's not something I'm telling y'all you need to put hundreds of dollars into every night. Just have fun with it. Bet a dollar on it. Bet a couple dollars on it. You know, five dollars at most, whatever, on the first basket props, uh, little parlays, and it'll give you an opportunity to possibly win like a thousand dollars on a dollar bet. You know what I mean? So it's something fun to do that I'm just gonna start doing. If you have access to like some betting sites where you can do bets like that, definitely follow me at Cam underscore ATL because I'll be putting my favorites on there daily. Um, just for some extra added fun. All right, greenlightdfs.com to join the squad for the lines and all that good stuff. Guess what? We're going for five in a row today. So extremely excited to get this fifth in a row tonight. Let's go ahead and get straight into this high five, all right? So first and foremost, we're going to start off with Josh Giddy. All right, you got Shy Gilchrist out till after the All-Star break. So that means Josh Giddy is going to ball. This kid's had his opportunities in this situation multiple times. I love him. Uh, the lock's not working for some reason, so I'm just going to talk about him. I'm not going to put him in the actual thing. But Josh Giddy uh, is in a fantastic spot today going against Portland. No shy Gilchrist Alexander, only 7'3", having projected at almost 40. Absolutely love Josh Giddy in this position today. There's a few of these OKC guys I really like today, and for good reason. They're missing their best player on the team, and their prices really aren't elevated due to it. So let's talk about Dort, all right? Lou Dort at 6K is also a fantastic option. I have him projected almost 34, almost 6X this price tag. Dort and Giddy are fantastic options for OKC today. And then last but not least, one of the better values on the slate as of right now is Trey Mann, who will probably be starting at point guard here in this one at only 3-5 for OKC. This is not a big fantasy point per minute contributing player. He's not going to go out there and drop 50 most likely. I mean, any NBA player could, I guess, but he's probably not. Uh, expect 20 to 25 range. I have him projected around 23. Um, good matchup against Portland, only 3-5 starting at point guard. I mean, those kind of value plays you just take and you try to get difference elsewhere. So he's probably going to be extremely high owned, but it is what it is. I, I'm, I encourage you guys to take value like that and just move on. Get different when it comes to the studs because most of the time the studs are going to do what studs are supposed to do. Get difference with those. You know what I mean? It might be the difference of Giannis and Jokic. Jokic might go for 60. Giannis might drop a 75. That difference of 15 when Giannis was lower owned in that situation uh, will get you, you know, a lot of money that way. So be different that way is what I encourage you to do. Take the value that needs to be played. All right. So when it comes to spend ups, I'm going to start off with Sabonis. I think Sabonis is in a fantastic. I keep trying to lock it. I need to. I'll fix that as soon as I get off of here. Uh, Sabonis going against the Clippers. Now, the Clippers have historically struggled versus bigs. This is a team that cannot stop bigs. Sabonis came back from injury and dropped a 71 in 44 minutes against OKC and then dropped a 54 against Dallas in 29 minutes in this last game. 
Now he gets to go against the Clippers. Expect a 50 to 70 range here. Uh, I haven't projected at 48, which is incredibly modest. I will update. I uh, will upgrade that and make it even higher. Uh, pretty damn soon. I'm expecting him like close to 53, 55. And at 98, I really love Sabonis. So I will update his projection. Sabonis has got to be in the high five as well. All right. And then last but certainly not least, you got to go with Nurkic here in this situation, facing one of the worst rebounding teams in the entire NBA. OKC struggles mightily versus centers. Okay, another plus for this is you're obviously going to have pieces of OKC in your lineup. So running it back with a Portland player only makes sense. Okay, so Nurkic is the fantastic run back here. OKC struggles versus bigs. All right, on top of that, OKC is one of the worst rebounding teams in the entire league. Where Nurkic, when Nurkic faces bad rebounding teams like that, he really feasts. Nurkic is a guy who can literally get like a 20-20 game. You know what I mean? Like he is a guy that has that type of potential. He's just he is a little up and down at times. But right now, remember, you got Dame Lillard still off the floor. You got him in a fantastic matchup. You can't ask for any better than this matchup right here. I'm rolling Nurkic at 8-3. He seems too cheap for me. I have him almost at 45. Even if you round him all the way up to 9K, that's 45 would be 5X. So I really like him here. Uh, he's in a fantastic spot today. So the high five today, since I wasn't able to put him in here, is Josh Giddy. Lou Dort, Sabonis, Nurkic, and Trey Mann is the high five for today. Good luck, everybody. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad going for five in a row tonight, baby. And remember, I'm doing that fun little first field goal, uh, first point scored parlay tonight. Follow me on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. I'll be putting it over there. So make sure you follow me over there, at Cam, Cam underscore ATL. And remember, this is just for fun purposes, for like the excitement of possibly getting thousands uh, this type of parlay does not hit too often, but there are, it is possible, obviously. I mean, somebody bet $10 the other day and won 100 k so it's a fun little parlay to do. I'll be doing those for fun every night, uh, and let's get it, all right? Good luck, everybody. I'm out. Peace.